Hi YouTubers, thank you so much for tuning in today. My name is Cindy Karin, I am from Enlightenment Now, and I am here to tell you that I love me. I think I am beautiful. I think I am sexy. I think I am cute. I think I am adorable. And I can go on and on and on. And when I see myself in the mirror, at home anyway, I blow myself kisses like this and I say, I love you. I love you. And that's what I'm hoping to do this video. I'm hoping that you'll see it and you'll be able to fall in love with yourself also. Now, some people may think that I am being conceited. Some people probably looking at this and saying, what, she is none of those things. Maybe they think I'm the ugliest person in the world. I don't know. I don't care because what other people think of me is none of my business. It's what I think of me. And I just love myself unconditionally. At one time, I didn't feel that way. And then I got to thinking, I meditate a lot, and I, I got to thinking, hey, how can I love other people unconditionally, but not myself? How can I look at um, my boyfriend or animals and go, oh, they're so cute. Why can't I look in the mirror and say that for myself about me? And again, if I were to... This has nothing to do with anybody else. If I were to put um, or compare myself to, say, like Nicole Kidman, Cindy Crawford, these gorgeous, gorgeous models, maybe have them on my mirror and, and compare myself to them, I probably wouldn't feel that way. And that's all just outside beauty. This is the feeling I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the outside and if I had those pictures, I probably wouldn't be feeling so beautiful. So that's why I do, it's not about comparing yourself to others. Also, it, it was only conceited if you think that you are better looking than other people, or if you are uh, better than other people, then that's conceited if you're starting to think that people are below you, beneath you. And for me, that is furthest from the truth. In fact, when I fell in love with myself, I started looking at people in a different way. I looked at other people as beautiful, as adorable, as cute. I don't know any ugly people. There was this woman, and I'll put the link down below. Her name escapes me at the moment. And she's deemed the most ugliest woman in the world. And she embraces that. And when I see her, I don't see ugliness. I see an adorable pretty woman she's she, I just love her she's I just love her videos you'll have to watch her videos to see what I'm talking about she's just adorable so this is not loving yourself is not about anybody else but yourself if you can look at somebody else and say oh you're so cute you're so adorable you're so gorgeous say that about yourself so how do you fall in love with yourself one just totally accept who you are. I can take this camera and show you all my flaws. Maybe you're looking at me right now and you can think of a lot of flaws. I know the lighting is off, so I have like this line off uh, down the side of my face. But um yeah, I can show you a whole bunch, but that but it's not flaws. Nobody is perfect. That makes everybody perfect because nobody is perfect. I can show you my varicose veins and the, I got a skin tag under my eye and I don't care. I embrace it all. So look yourself in the mirror. Embrace who you are. You are perfect. And again, um, I talk about enlightenment, uh, enlightenment, you know, what enlightenment is and letting go of who we were taught to be to become who we are. You know, we live in a society with all these models and gorgeous celebrities and we're like, oh my God, we don't look like those people. And it doesn't matter if you're a man or you're a woman. And um, that somebody else, that's somebody else's standard of what it means to be beautiful. You are beautiful. Embrace that. So totally accept who you are, not compared to anybody out, not compared to society's um, example of what beauty is, 
just look at yourself, fall in love with yourself, meditate, um, make love to yourself. That's another thing. We make love to other people. Some people will go to a bar, pick up a strange person, have sex with them, maybe have some sex toys, whatever. But with us, but if we do it to ourselves, then we might feel funny, embarrassed, or whatever. No, make love to yourself. You know, if it's just a warm bath, a warm bubble bath, if it's sex toys, if it's whatever it is that you you can do to make love to yourself and embrace who you are do it you are beautiful you are special you are fantastic look in that mirror say those affirmations but don't say it in a way that is um very bland saying the same affirmation in monotone over and over and over i'm beautiful i'm beautiful i'm beautiful that's not right and if you have to put anybody else down i had an older relative who used to beat me up as a kid and she used to say you're jealous of me because i'm better looking than you i'm so much prettier and you're ugly and so but i'd be the one being beat up that's not that's not embracing you've got to be a kind person be kind to people be and just be a good person and that helps in in just accepting who you are so totally accept who you are totally accept your your looks your scars your wrinkles your aging whatever it is just totally totally accept it be a good person don't compare yourself to anybody else make love to yourself tell yourself in the mirror how cute and adorable and beautiful and sexy you are and eventually what what you think about expands and again i want to emphasize this isn't about a physical trait this is about a feeling inside feel beautiful feel sexy feel wonderful feel kind feel all those things and uh i uh, your life will improve thank you so much for watching i hope this has helped you somehow and um if you like this video please like and subscribe to my uh other vi videos i'll be great for you greatly appreciated and uh, I'll probably do this I'm gonna try at least once a week anyway so uh, may you all live long and prosperous thank you for watching have a great wonderful day bye now